Hi everybody, it's Amber from Sweet Am's Cookies. In this video, I'll show you three different ways to make wet on wet flowers with royal icing. I'm cutting the cookies from a chilled sheet of cookie dough using my small plat cookie cutters. My orange cardamom cookie recipe is available to my Patreon subscribers, or you can use my pre-made cookie mix. I'll put a link to both in the description. I'll put these in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 10 minutes. Now that my cookies are completely cool, I'm drawing on them with an edible ink marker. I'm just making a general outline of the flowers. This marker is Food Doodler brand. You can find them in my Amazon store. Now I'm filling in the space around the flowers with black flood consistency icing and a decorating tip too. My flood consistency icing is 15 to 20 second count, so that means that when you take a scoop of icing out of the bowl and drop it back in, it should take between 15 and 20 seconds to be completely smooth. That way your icing will be nice and smooth on the cookie, but not so thin that it runs off the edge. While the black icing is still wet, I'm going to fill in the flowers with pink flood consistency icing. And now I'm filling in the leaves with green flood consistency icing, also with the decorating tip too. I'm covering the ends of the leaves with a little more pink icing, and then I'm filling in the smaller flowers with yellow flood consistency icing. Now I'll pipe the details with some darker icing. I'm using tipless decorating bags for this part because I really just need a small amount of icing. The tipless bags allow me to make a really small opening in the tip that I can't get with the tips that I have because they're just a little too big. You want to get this icing in as quickly as possible while the base layer is still wet. So you don't have to worry too much about what it looks like at this point because we're going to use the scribe tool to shape it. Now I'm using my scribe tool to blend the colors a little bit and to help shape the icing. I'm holding a damp paper towel in my hand to wipe the scribe tool off in between each pass through the icing. I'm also using the scribe tool to help shape the icing around the edge of the cookie. As long as your icing is still wet, you can keep adding layers of icing and using your scribe tool to blend and shape it. Some days are better than others with royal icing, and on this day I had about 10 minutes to work with it before it started to crust over. I'm adding some pink dots in the centers of the yellow flowers, and then I'll go in and do the same thing with the green icing. I'm using my scribe tool to make very small white dots. This icing is also flood consistency. I'm 
My icing started to spill off on the edge, so I'm just using my scribe tool to help push it back into place. And here's the same design that I did on a rectangle plat cookie. I'm going to let my icing dry overnight before adding a border. I'm using Stiff Consistency Royal Icing and a Decorating Tip 3 to pipe the border around the edge of this cookie. And here's another way to do wet on wet florals. I'm flooding the cookie with black icing. This is 15 to 20 second count icing again, and this is a decorating tip three. I'm using the scribe tool to help shape the icing and bring it a little closer to the edge. While the black icing is still wet, I'm piping dots with light pink flood consistency icing and a decorating tip too. Now I'm adding a little swirl of dark pink flood consistency icing to each dot. Now I'll use my scribe tool to swirl these dots until they start to look like little roses. For the leaves, I'm adding a dot of light green icing. And then a smaller dot of dark green icing on top. And now I'm dragging my scribe tool through the icing to make the dots into leaves. I'm adding some dots with yellow flood consistency icing. And I'll let this dry overnight before adding a border. Here's the third design that you can make using the wet on wet technique. I'm flooding my cookie with black icing and using the scribe tool to help shape it. While the black icing is still wet, I'm piping a large light pink dot in the middle. And then a swirl of dark pink icing. Now I'll use the scribe tool to swirl the colors and shape the icing into a rose. Then I'll make my leaves with the light green and dark green icing. Again, I'm adding dots with the yellow flood consistency icing. Just like with the other two cookies, I let this icing dry overnight before adding a border. And here are the three different floral designs you can do using the wet on wet technique. Let me know which one of these designs is your favorite. 
Thanks for watching. Bye! My video on how to make royal icing along with all of my recipes are available to my Patreon subscribers.